Hi everyone and welcome to today's video. Today we're going to do some small testing with the Wings PX1 from Angelbird and this is the PCI Express times 4 2M2 NVMe SSD adapter. Now this is something really cool that was sent uh, to me from Angelbird for the project Biohazard which you might have noticed uh, before on the Case Mode World series and it has a special logo on it and everything and blah 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 but we're not going to talk about specifically the logo and what was the sole purpose of the Wings PX1 today we're going to install the VNAND SSD 970 EVO NVMe M2 SSD from Samsung we're going to test well first we're going to test it just like this without the adapter without the PCI card and then we're going to install it into the PCI card and going to test and see the temperatures and if there's any I don't know thermal throttling by losing the write and read speeds and something like that similar so let's go I'm going to open first the SSD this is the M2 from Samsung we have it right here it's uh, the uh, 250 gigabytes NVMe uh, M2 SSD. We're going to place it here, just like that, just like so. And we have the, as I said, Angelbird Wings PX1. This is the adapter. This is a very cool product, actually, if you're asking me, because well, it looks really nice. So when you have a nice box and you have a card here it says share on they have a facebook instagram and twitter profile and if you have any question you have the help desk at angelbird.com you have the manual here that has a i would say a special design nothing as usual you have all the information about the mounting uh, how to place the m2 ssd how to install everything into your computer and blah 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 and that's all it has everything right here in the manual so you don't have to uh, surf the internet uh, but you can if you wish so yeah that's something that actually depends on you what you want to do now going with the Winx PX1 and you have uh, an adapter here which can go into small four factor cases as well so you could just you know switch this part over here you have two screws uh, you just replace it and that's all there is to it you're good to go now you have a 10 year limited warranty when you register your product on their website so that is another big plus for Angelbird and for their products and they're not mainly focused on the, this this is one of the products they have they also do incredible SSDs for digital uh, cameras DSLRs uh, professional cameras uh, then you have the SD cards and well it's just mind-blowing what cool products they have and what they actually do now Talking about Angelbird Wings PX1, let's talk about some uh, specs, some information. What does it do actually? What's it all about when you say I have an Angelbird Wings PX1 in my PC and I connected my M2 SSD to it and they'll be like, I don't know what's the purpose of it. So here is the thing. The Wings PX1 offers full unrestricted performance supporting both M2 NVMe and Axi SSDs. <clears throat> it is compatible with all NGFF uh, SSD form factors from 2230 to 22110. The optimally cooled Wings PX1 was developed from scratch to deliver maximum results uh, with no reduction or instability of throughput caused by poor or no existing thermal dissipation so basically the thing is what i said let me just finish the sentence bad data line signal integrity or voltage fluctuation get it to the max so that is what i was saying if you have a wings px1 you have a nice channel here that actually if you have a nice airflow through your case uh, the cold air goes through all the channels here that are cut out 
let me just read it CNC worked aluminium heatsink so the air goes right through the heatsink and it cools down your M2 SSD and yet yeah, they get warm and we'll test that and we're gonna see the temperatures without the heatsink and with the heatsink from Angelbird this is really cool now features thermal throttling prevention full signal integrity you have maximum copper EMI and HF shielding 10 year limited warranty white LED backlight so when you connect this small thingy this small card it actually lights up we're going to check that out as well it has a power stabilization as I said CNC worked aluminium heatsink and it's rock solid build basically it does really feel like high quality and it really does and I'm not talking uh, I don't know just for giggles and you know for fun this is a really quality material and yeah I can't even try to bend it now since it, this was for the biohazard build uh, guys at Angelbird managed to do this and place the PC crazy logo right here on top and this is really cool so yeah okay now the thing is we're going to place the M2 SSD here in the Wings PX1 you need a Torx screwdriver R6 okay so you have one two three four five six screws here to remove to get to the part where the heat sink is and where to place the M2 SSD it's actually very easy you don't have to I mean I already done with two screws and it's just like that fairly easy nothing too nothing too complicated and there you go guys so this is the CNC worked part aluminium frame which has nice channels here which are nicely cooled when the air goes through and that is really good both sides you have thermal pads I don't have to explain those and on this side you have the connector which connects directly to the PCI slot on your computer through this lower part and that's all there is to it all over the PCI card you have uh, LEDs and you have practically loads of them and they're really nicely placed, designed, everything. It looks really cool and I'm really impressed how it does look, yeah. So okay, let's connect the M2 SSD, the NVMe SSD from Samsung. Let's connect it here, show you guys how to do it and then I'm going to show you the tests the SSD solo in the motherboard and then in the Wings PX1 we're going to see the temperatures uh, hope to see a huge difference in temperatures when it's connected here and when it's connected solo without any cooling and uh, well we're going to see some speeds as well so let's go
M2 SSD when it's solo in the motherboard goes up to 57 degrees and then when you place it inside the Angelbird Wings PX1 the temperature drops by almost 15 degrees it uh, actually varies when you go into multiple tests it goes up to 47 so that is 10 celsius degrees lower than going with the solo ssd in the motherboard now the thing is the first test only ssd solo in the motherboard was read and write and the second two were just reading tests just to uh, you know i don't know stress test it a bit more uh, the thing is it went to, to 57 celsius degrees as I said at the beginning and the speed uh, did drop for a bit not too much it probably you would see a noticeable difference if you use it more than I did I did a uh, half an hour test uh, maybe that's not enough but then when I place it into Wings PX1 uh, I got uh, 47 degrees uh, celsius maximum temperature it went from 40 43 and then 47 and it didn't go above that which is really cool because 10 celsius degrees is really uh, a lot in temperature when you're talking about this kind of components and that kind of stuff and then i did the similar test so one read and write and two uh, read tests uh, i didn't have any speed drop at all it was constant uh, standard read speed that I had from the beginning until the end and the writing speed was constant during the whole test as you can see and this is really cool because I mean for small amount of money which you could uh, get the Angel Wings PX1 I think it's 50 euros if I'm not mistaken but for 50 euros you get a nice cool looking uh, card PCI card that you could install your M2 SSD and which is actually pretty cool you know it looks nice it saves your M2 SSD life because I think everything that runs on a higher temperature shortens uh, the lifespan of the product without a doubt I mean graphic card processors everything everything completely everything and this way you get lower temperatures uh, standard speeds and that's what they say here as well so we did a test and it proved it right I mean if I went for a whole day testing I think the uh, I think the test will definitely show that the read and write speeds will definitely drop and the temperature will go to its peak, I don't know, maybe 60 degrees without the Wings PX1 and it would go constant like that and that is not really good. And with the Wings PX1 you will have also constant temperature but much lower and you have the constant speeds as well. And that is guys what we were talking about this is what i was aiming to show you guys the wings px1 has this really cool thing and it's not that expensive now that's all there is to it i've shown you how it works how to install it very easy very simple just remove those six screws uh, you need to remove the middle one that's the seventh screw for holding the ssd and that's all there is to it thank you for watching i'm placing all the links for angel bird as I said, Facebook, Instagram and Twitter down below. Give them your support. So guys, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to like the video. Thank you and see you soon. Bye.